Good afternoon, everybody. Today we are going to talk about certain accommodations that children with dyslexia and other learning challenges should have. The first one is they should be able to be placed near the teacher, away from windows and doors. This is so that they won't be distracted by other things like a butterfly or flowers outside the window for example, and it helps them to concentrate a lot better. The next one is they should be allowed to record uh, lectures and assignments. This is very helpful for children that they have uh, memory uh, problems or they um, have trouble in writing to keep notes. So this, they can listen to this recording over and over and over again until they understand the content of the lecture or what they're supposed to do in the assignment. The next one is provide the child with a note-taking partner. That means that that person will take notes and share their no notes with the child. So this is very useful for children that have dysgraphia and dyslexia because for them to take a note note is very difficult and what another child can finish in 10 minutes it will take them one or two hours so they can have this note sharing partner and the the child can photocopy those notes so that they have the notes for the a lecture or the assignments the next one is giving a lighter homework load. This is uh, really important for children with dyslexia and dysgraphia uh, because they have trouble in writing. So what will take another child, a 10 minute homework assignment will take them at least one hour. So if you give them the same content, now we're not talking about giving them easy material. Okay, we're talking about giving them the same kind of material, but less questions so that um, they can concentrate on those, uh, those few questions that they have and give a good uh, content back instead of giving them so many questions and they go, go through three or four questions and the parents complete the rest of the homework. So. This is usually what is happening with uh, kids with dyslexia or dysgraphia, and this accommodation really needs to be in place. The next one is giving extra time for um, tests and exams. Now, this is a very important accommodation for children that have learning difficulties, especially ADHD, dyslexia, and dysgraphia. Because in this case, either they have a reading problem, they have a writing problem, or they have a concentration problem. So in this case, they need that extra time to complete the exam. Now, and this is usually accommodation that parents really have to go to the school and fight for because a lot of times the school doesn't want to give this accommodation. You are your child's advocate and you need to go and fight for the accommodations that you feel that your child needs, okay? The last one is letting children run errands. And this is really good for children that are hyperactive or what we like to call physical uh, learners because they need that break in between. If you contain them in the classroom and don't, uh, get, let them to get out and stretch their legs, they are going to cause disruptions in the classroom. So if you have something that you need to pick up from the office, let the child run to the office and get the thing. If you um, need to go and get photocopies, let the child um, go and pick up the photocopies because this will um, get them out of the uh, classroom, get them moving and give them a break. And when they come back, they will be able to concentrate more. Okay, these are the accommodations uh, that children with learning difficulties need, especially when we're talking about children with dyslexia, um, dysgraphia, or ADHD. 
And these are important. And these are also things that parents need to go and fight. As I said, you are your child's biggest advocate. And if you don't go and fight for the accommodations for your child, nobody else will. Okay, I hope thank you for listening and I hope you have a great day.